Hey everybody, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Well, this is what we're going to be modeling today. Uh, we're going to be modeling an, uh, I think it's called an, uh, a Caraf or an Amphora or an Urn. Weird word. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with the middle one. Uh, I'm actually using a, an app called Pure Ref to uh, put these references up. Uh, I did a video about this a long time ago. If you want it, or if you know, uh, if you want to know how to get it and all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. I'll do a quick video on it, right? So that's the one we're going to load up. Before I get started with the tutorial, guys, you probably noticed my videos are not monetized, uh, so no ads, hopefully. Uh, that said, I do appreciate it if you guys subscribe because I noticed that 90% of you guys watch the videos but don't subscribe. That's fine, but YouTube then sees that as a signal, pushes my videos down, less people watch it, less incentive to make them, that kind of thing, right? So if you do enjoy the videos, please uh, do that. All right, time to get modeling. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm gonna jump into my uh, front view. I'm gonna go to view, image plane, import image. I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna look for this guy and open that up. Then I'm gonna jump to my perspective view, R to scale down, W to move up and push it back a little. All right, now, I'm going to start with a polygon cylinder, jump to the top, we're going to right click go to face, we're going to remove all these top faces because we don't need them, and then we're going to jump to the front view, and we're going to grab this guy, kind of uh, put the base of it on the bottom, let's turn on our x-ray, right there so we can see what's going on, okay that's about there. Now, keep in mind, this is a photo of an object that's probably, uh, I don't know, a couple of thousand years old, so it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, so we will be focusing on one side of it, right? Okay, so we got this guy. We're going to raise that up. We're going to F to frame, and then we're going to start with the base there, right? So hit R to scale down. And you can already see that the reference image is a little bit off. So let's try and level that out. Yeah, there you go. F, go back. We're going to push that down. We're going to hit F again. And then we're going to start from there, right? So right click, go to vertex, drag, select the top vertices, hit W. Push that down to about here. Hit R to flare them out, something like this. And then we're going to go to edge mode to edge mode thank you and we're gonna double click on this guy we're gonna hit uh, g to repeat w to push up like so why is it not extruding extrude w to push up yeah there you go and then we're gonna hit the g to repeat r to scale out and w to push up like this g to repeat w to push up and let's flare that out a little bit more to about there. G to repeat, W to push up. And that whole G to repeat, W to push up, we're going to be doing that all the way to the top, right? Just so I don't have to say that a million times. All right. And I probably even still will. starting point. Now, we're going to go in here, we're going to hit F to frame, and let's focus on the top there for a minute. We're going to go into edge, double click, control E to extrude, R to scale in, G to repeat, and W to push down, and R to flare in. 
and you could give it thickness if you want uh, but you would literally have to look from the top down inside this thing to see this right uh, so that's your choice now um, if I smooth this it will be too smooth so if I hit three you see the edge right there and we want it to be a little bit more crisp so we're gonna right click at the edge double click on this one that one that one and that one control B to bevel let's do 0 0.02 uh, actually let's do a higher number nope uh, 1.3 maybe uh, still too much we're actually gonna do one looks like let's see if we smooth it that's actually pretty good like that right so we'll do that and we might need to adjust the height a little bit because of that. Let's have a look. No, it's actually okay. Right, so now that we have that, we're gonna look and see if we need to add edge loop anywhere. Uh, it looks fairly, fairly okay. Uh, no need to add a bunch of edges here. Now we're gonna focus on these arms, if you will, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and let's see where they start so they start somewhere around here okay so we're going to select this face just as a marking all right we're going to jump to that face and there it is and if you look at the top here you see that because of the amount of uh subdivision that we have we need to make it symmetrical so we have to take this one as well so we're going to take these two and we're going to delete those for now. Let's hit one to get out of soft uh, select yet, yeah, or soft mode. Then we're going to go and look at the top and see where that's located. And here we need some more edge loops. So we're going to hit insert edge loop. If we set it to multiple and one, it will automatically put it in the middle. So we'll do one here. And then we'll do one here. And then we'll do one here. And let's see, where do I want this guy? I want one manual that I'll put up here. Okay, hit Q on the keyboard, and then I want the face to be that one, right? Let's have a look. We've got the same deal here. We need two to make it symmetrical. We're gonna delete those. And then I'm gonna right click, go to edge, double click on this guy, hit W, What's his problem? Uh, is it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Um, yeah, I need to t take the first for that. Right click, go to vertex, drag, select. And there you go. Just to give it a bit more space. Alrighty, and then we'll maybe do the same here as well. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's see. We need to connect that up, right? And um, this whole thing is going to be symmetrical. So we basically don't need half of this guy now. So we're going to close this down. And we're going to F to frame. We're going to right click. Go to face. And we're going to select half of this thing and get rid of it. And let's see if that's a clean cut. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like. Cool, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two. And we're going to do that based off of our reference model. So right click at the edge. We're going to double click on this guy. Then we're going to go up here, hit F to frame, Control E to extrude, W to move up. And let me make sure that, let's turn this on so we can see what we're doing. Actually, I hope you guys can see it okay. Um, this is a little bit better. So we're gonna move that over here. We're gonna scale that down quite a bit. And we're not gonna go in steps that big either, right? Okay, G to repeat. And as we move up at some point, G to repeat, we are going to, um, rotate that a little bit g to repeat w to push up 
G to repeat, W to push up, and at this point I'm going to hit R to scale it in, and E to rotate. Again, G to repeat, W to push up. If you hear some weird noise in the background, my apologies. Those are my guinea pigs. Yeah, I know, don't ask. G to repeat, W, and then E to rotate again. I guess they like modeling in Maya, not sure. G to repeat, W to move in. And again, we're gonna rotate that a little bit more. And then G to repeat and do that one more time. Now, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this thing is very, very thick. We don't want that, of course, but let's connect this guy up first, right? Alrighty, uh, let's see. We're gonna go back just a little bit so we can connect this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Edit Mesh. Uh, no, it's not under Edit Mesh. It's under Mesh Tools, Target Weld. Yeah, Option Box. Target, yeah, there you go. And come on and we're gonna right click go to vertex and then we're gonna take that one and drag it over there and take that one and drag it over there you get the idea right and then we're gonna take that and put it here and that and put it here and so forth and so on that one up there that might get tricky, so I'll hit four for Wi-Fi mode. So hopefully I can see what's going on. It would be that one and that one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's it. Let's hit Q, let's right click on object mode and hit three to preview smooth. And if I missed anything, it would be funky and it's not funky, so it's good. Right, now let's adjust the thickness and all that because this is not what it's supposed to look like. So we're gonna go to edge. We're gonna want to go back. We're gonna double click on this guy. I'm gonna hit R to scale and I'm gonna push that way, way in. And then I'll take that one and do the same. And the idea here is that you want to make it look a lot more organic right so not as thick Okay, not bad. And then, uh, let's see, is that enough? We'll make this one a bit thicker. And then, let's do a preview. Then, that looks pretty good, I would say, right? Okay, cool. So, now that we have that, we're gonna hit one to uh, jump out of smooth mode, right? We're gonna uh, switch this guy over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around like so. Then we're gonna select them both. We're gonna go to Mesh and Combine. Then we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna go and weld it in the middle. So right click at a vertex. And that would be around here. And we're gonna go up to uh, Edit Mesh and Merge, which is now done. And then we need to close up the bottom because there's still a hole in there. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at it edge we're gonna double click we're gonna hit control e to extrude we'll let r to skill to about here g to repeat r to skill once again 
Now we've got this little hole left, so we're gonna go to mesh and fill hole, which will create a huge end gone. And then we're gonna right click at a face, click on the face, go to edit mesh and poke. And now we no longer have an end gone. Alrighty. So final thing to do, at least in this stage, final thing to do is to smooth this guy out. So we're going to right click the object mode. We're going to go to edit mesh. We're going to go to not edit mesh, mesh, smooth, option box. I'm going to go to edit and reset. Subdivision level, let's do two. Okay, and hit smooth. There you have it, guys. So yeah, that's all there's to it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you can find it in your heart, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.